Hi everyone, this is Cascabel, and today we're here with a bit of a different video. So, I do get a lot of comments asking how I did my animations, how I do, to make the movement, what programs do I use, and lately Filmora was really kind to offer me a sponsorship. So instead of doing the basic same ad that I could do, saying how great the program is, I decided that I might show you how to edit your animations. So you can experience with me the program and see how cool it actually is. So this is a software, this is Filmora. It's, as you can see, it's easy as any other software for editing. You can use it to edit your animation, but you can also use it to edit anything you want, like movies or videos, things for school. So here's the timeline, here's the preview, and here are the files that I've imported, and I'm just gonna add. Oops, I have two. I'm just gonna add the basic, maybe a little bit smaller. Nice dragging and dropping can make them smaller. I'm gonna add this one. I'm gonna add this one. I'm gonna add this one. And this one. So now I have my all my frames. As you can see in the preview, if I scroll, you can see how she moves. Yay! That's animation. <laughs> so basically what I did is I draw my frames on paint tool side. I'll do another tutorial another day on how to draw frames in paint tool side. But animating in paint tool side is pain and don't do it. <laughs> but basically you do different poses and then you put them together quickly so they look like they are moving. So the character is moving, but now we need to click play and see the character moving too. But if we click play, we'll see that she moves too slow. So we're gonna zoom in a bit, uh, like that. And I'm gonna make them smaller. This way. Oops, oops, oops. I'm gonna make them smaller like that smaller like that. The last one and the first one are going to be longer. So this way she can be standing and then oh, she moves. It has to be even smaller. And this last, so the animation looks smooth. The frames need to last the least time possible. And it's really hard, but sometimes you need to do it. See? Like that. So she's standing and then she moves. Maybe this one could be a bit smaller too. So this is the result. It's easy as that. And as you can see, if you have all the frames you need drawn, you only need to put that on the timeline and adjust the timing, click play, stop, and that's essentially it. But the good thing about Filmora is that we have a lot of other features. We have music we can use. You just click on add and music's there. And you can click play and the music works. You have free music, of course. You can also have add text to your animations. For example, let's see. Mm, I'm gonna add some kind of title in the middle of her face so it goes boom like that see and then she appears and you can present your memes like that and you can also add titles are at the same time of her see now well, that looks actually kind of cool so if you did that and we say cascabel okay i can't i can't write to save my life if we put Cascable there and say click OK. Oh, that's so nice. I'd like that. Could be even an intro for my channel. If we... Boom. <laughs> that's nice. So you can add titles, you can add transitions between frames, for example. Look at that.
Uh, can you see it? It's a bit difficult to see, but there's a lot of cool transitions you can do. There's also like previews like that that you can check. There's also filters you can add to your animations. Just purple now. Normal, purple, normal, purple, normal, purple. Kind of like on Instagram. There's overlays. This is my favorite thing because look, because your meme isn't edgy enough. You just come here and boom. That's so cool. How cool is that? And then you have different elements that you can add to, I don't know, make your animations or videos or drawings or whatever look cooler, smoother, and I just better. Let's add this one and soulmates. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that's essentially it. Editing animations is not as hard as it looks. You basically have to know all your frames, know the order of it, because as you can see, I named it how I like this is number one and this is number three. But you just need to know the order of things and you just need to have a cool program like Filmora. So be sure to check it out and to follow the description links to download and check their page and to get to the cool memes with cool effects like I'm doing then you just need to I don't know there you go so yeah thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you on the next meme that I upload